Hello, I'm Penny McNamee. Hi, I'm Lucy Dirac. And we are starring in The Odd Couple as the Pigeon Sisters. Not The Odd Couple yet. <laughs> We are so excited to be working We're so together. Excited. <laughs> we haven't Ages. worked together for don't oh, say the years. Just quite a number are. of years. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we have had such a nice. We Penny and I have been friends for a really long time, and we're just excited to work together again because I think Penny is hilarious. We actually have worked together um, in slightly more recent times when we co-hosted the Rob Guest Endowment, and uh, which is a concert that was happening, and we. We just really like. We were ridiculous. We were ridiculous, and we we had a really fun time. But before that, we should premise that we we were in the original cast of Wicked together, and also a Commonwealth Bank ad. Yes, we were. I think more people would probably recognise us from Commonwealth Bank. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, correct. We've known each other since we were in our early twenties, and you know, like it's all a year or two ago. Yeah, that's right. So three years, and we're still really close. Yeah, and we had a great time working on Wicked together back in the day. You become like family when you're in a show yeah. that's that long running. We were in yeah. it for, well, I did for a couple of years. You were in it for longer than me. Yeah, I, I'm still in it. So you can see Lucy Direct going in with it. In my mind. After the odd couple. Well, I think these roles are so kind of farcical and funny and fun. And, you know, Neil Simon is such a genius writer that uh, I think that it's going to be really fun to. You know, we have a, you know, playing sisters and sisters who kind of almost finish each other's sentences. I think it will be a real hoot, and we've both been playing different roles, but not in such a kind of farcical situation re in recent times. No, and I think so. I feel like you, I've seen you do comedy on stage a lot, like in Legally Blonde, and even as Glinda in Wicked. So I feel like people know you for doing that so well. So that'll be really fun for them to see you do a, a British character as well. The, yeah. the two, these two sisters are British, fun. which will be fun. Well, that's really nice of you to say. But I think people are going to be super excited because people have obviously seen Penn over, what, five years of Home and Away, playing a doctor and in some pretty serious scenarios. And, um, and you know, quite dramatic, and so to be able to exercise your what we all, all of us who know Penny, you know she's got real funny bones. And to be able to, um, to have multiple, that on stage, multiple funny bones. Multiple funny bones. <laughs> it is quite a departure for me for the for, from the work that I have been doing of late. So I have obviously been in Home and Away world for several years, but even before that was mostly doing television and mostly doing drama. So um, it is really fun. I had done a couple of musical comedies, um, but not a straight play comedy, which. I think will be a hoot and one of my favourite things in comedy is just is finding the moment, letting them land, getting a response back from the audience um, and I think Luce and I will have a lot of fun finding those moments yeah. together and, and trying to work out you know how the audience is responding on different nights. Like I think you and I both have a real passion for comedy and what is funny and what yeah. makes it funny. I think totally. we'll, we'll pick all of that apart a lot. I think the hardest fun. thing is going to be not laughing at each other. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And Todd and Shane. Oh, like of course. Hysterical. So I, before funny. I'm going to corpse on stage many times, I think. Actually, maybe we won't because maybe we will finally be professional. <laughs> I'm known for my drama. <laughs> And I, I feel really honoured that we're doing a real classic piece like The Odd Couple because even if you're not intimately, you have, don't have an intimate knowledge of the show, you say The Odd Couple and everybody goes, oh The Odd Couple, oh yeah I like The Odd Couple. Yeah. Like it's just got that generational too. Yeah. I've had all different people, Me different too. ages say, oh yeah I know that, I love this. Or, and they've got different versions. Yeah. Like, I mean we've all been through such a lot of Melbourne and so I think we really do have, it's still very close at heart that it's it's exciting to be able to go out and see shows and that shows are being put on and that we can go out and be in audiences. And, and, and on stage. Um, yeah. I haven't yeah. worked at the comedy before. You did Midnight there recently. I did Midnight with Shane Jacobson yeah. there last year, which was really fun. Um, yeah, I love the comedy. And I love seeing things at the comedy. I think it's a really nice, it's quite intimate, but it's still got that beautiful old theatre feeling that yeah. you feel like it's a real experience of going to the theatre. I and also feel like working at one of those theatres in Melbourne that you haven't worked at yet as an actor is like having a bingo card. Totally. I was like, great, I can finally tick off the comedy theatre from the regent and the Put princess. The pin and in the map. Yeah, it is. It's like a map. I love that. And I, I worked with Todd in Shrek the Musical. Todd and Todd's Lord Farquaad in Shrek was <laughs> hysterical. I just, I'd always admired Todd and I actually learnt tap dancing with Todd's mum and um, for 42nd Street, um, back when I did 42nd Street a number of years ago and I'd always really admired Todd and thought he was so talented and I loved him in Boy From Oz and 
loved him in you know everything I've seen. I've loved him. He and Nancy Hayes did that beautiful play together. He's done so much that I've really admired. I don't think I quite understood his comic ability in in such a layered way as when he was Lord Farquaad, and he can he's got such good comic rhythms that he just understands in an innate way. I guess from being, you know, he's just breathed show business his whole life. He's also funny as a person though, too. Yeah, he is. Even just nonsense, like we've done quite a few times, I feel like you and Todd have been backstage at Carol's in the Domain. Yes. And he is the one just coming out with those one-liners with in stitches. So seeing that on stage, I think will be great. Yeah. He'll be in his element. Totally. And also, I've loved watching Todd and Shane's relationship over the years. I loved watching them in Hairspray. I thought they just had such a beautiful bond. And I think it's, you know, you, it, that for me was such a big part of Hairspray is that how beautiful their bond was and how well they work together. So I think having them at the helm of the show is gonna be really special. You're gonna come and see Odd Couple, but really gonna come and see Todd and Shane just be amazing together. And they're, they're a really amazing comic duo. Yeah, I think it's yes. dangerous that we're all friends. I think that it's But that was one be... of the big conversations when we first got offered the role. Yeah. We were like, this is such an intimate show yeah. and um, and it's touring, so you go to different cities and I don't know, I feel like you get to the stage and you're like, we're like, I'm only doing this if this is gonna be great. Totally. With really nice people. Yeah. And I feel like it just ticked the box That's both it. things for us, didn't it? We, I agree. Like that was a big part of it. We're in, this is a really nice group of people, a really funny, fun group of people. Yeah. And so I think that will show on stage for sure. I think so too. So come and see us in The Odd Couple. We will be performing at the Comedy Theatre in Melbourne in May and June. And then we'll be performing in Sydney at the Theatre Royal in June, July. We hope to see you there.